In this video, we will create a modal pop-up with a YouTube video that autoplay with sound. We will also create a button element to trigger the pop-up. To start, let's create the modal container. Add a dev with a class of modal wrapper. Add another dev with a class of modal inner. Let's also add a span element that will trigger the close function. On the modal inner, add a position absolute and height to auto. Let's style the close button element. Add position absolute. Set the top to 50 pixels. 5% from the right. Z index to stack it higher than other elements. Display block. Add 50% border radius to make it round, pointer cursor, and font family. This will be the YouTube video we are going to use. I cannot use any other video since it's copyrighted. Copy the embed snippet code. You can also uncheck the show player controls option. Let's add it inside the modal inner dev. Let's set the iframe to position absolute and height and width to 100%. Also, set the top, left, bottom, and right properties to zero, then add a margin auto. Add a class of active to the modal wrapper element. We will remove this later when we are done configuring the code for the modal. When the modal wrapper has a class of active, set to display block and position to fixed. Now let's remove the active class. Then set the modal wrapper to display none. Next, let's create the button element. Add an on-click attribute. We will create a JavaScript play video function later. Let's add the script. Set the variables. 
for the modal wrapper, modal close element, and modal inner. Now, let's create the play video function. For the modal wrapper element, add a class of active. Next, instead of adding the iframe markup, we will create this using JavaScript. We will erase this iframe markup when we are done creating the function. Create a new variable, called iframe. This will hold the new iframe element. Then let's append or add this iframe inside the modal inner element. Our iframe is still empty, so let's add the attributes. Add the src attribute. Copy the YouTube URL above and paste it onto the second parameter. Let's also add a new URL parameter key of autoplay with a value of 1, and add an ampersand on the front. Also, disable related videos to appear. Add another attribute called frame border and set the value to 0. Next, set the allow attribute and copy the value from the current iframe markup. Finally, set the allow full screen attribute. Now, set a class of the iframe element to modal vid. Next, let's remove the iframe element we added earlier. It looks like the autoplay didn't work on this previewer. Let's try this on a real browser later. Now, let's create a function to hide the modal once the close button is clicked. Add an event listener to the close element. Remove the active class of the modal wrapper when it is clicked. And remove the iframe or modal vid element. Let's try this on the Chrome browser. As you notice, the video autoplay is unmuted. The video has no audio in itself. 
Let's try to show the controls so you can see that the audio will work if we use a video with sound. Here's the modal using different YouTube videos with audio. In this video, I will show you how to create a custom toggle switch using the input checkbox field and CSS. To start, let's create the markup. Create a label element with 